Hi, my name is Tony. Welcome to the candle shop. Hey, I think I remember you. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. You remember me with my blonde tips and green eyes. Yeah, I don't do all of that anymore. But I'm glad you're back. Oh my goodness. I have a bunch of candles here for you to choose from, if you'd like to check it out. Alright, I'll get straight into it, in no particular order, like last time. Yes. I'll show you some candle accessories and other candles, and uh, even a special candle kit. <laughs> Alright, so, here we have a... Tapered candle holder. It okay. comes in a silver dish. And it's quite luxurious looking. It's actual silver. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's pretty heavy. And it's made in India. It's very large, as you can see. I need some polishing, but. I think it will do. There's a hook here to nail it against the wall. So I like the intricate detail of it. Don't you think it's gorgeous? Yes. You love candles. Well, where have you been all this time? I love candles too. Although, if I'm honest, it's been a while since I've last used one. Yeah, I need to use them more. Well, that's not true. I just use tea lights. But I do need to use candle candles, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, the ones I'm about to show you. Do you like this? What? You're gonna buy everything I show you. Who are you, Mr. Beast? Well, oh, thank you. I'm so honored. Oh. And here I am thinking that I have to close my business down. Well, you know it hasn't been the same since this whole thing hit, you know. Well, what can I show you? Let's bring this in next. Well then, I don't have to ask you for every item. If you would like to purchase, I'll just assume you're Mr. Beast. There you go. And this is a tea light holder. I think this was made in Bangladesh, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, India. Close enough. This is another one of our Indian themed ones. You can see the silver here. And a different... Uh, Aesthetic here, there is a clear colored glass that you can paint. Uh, it looks great if it's blue, if I'm honest, and a marble stone on the bottom with these felt pads for sturdy support so that it doesn't drop, tip over, you know knock over, and here's the tea light, so, um, yeah. Hmm? Oh no, we won't light any of these candles. Um, fire safety hazard. I hired someone which I had to let go a few months ago, for obvious reasons, um, which I'm about to tell you, but someone once came in and asked them to light every candle for sampling purposes. Well, let's just say I was away on a business trip, right? And I come back to an almost burned down studio. Yes, yes. So we don't do that anymore. You like that? So extra, all for just one tea light. <laughs> Alright, so 
this is the next thing. Uh, these can come in lanterns, which I'm about to show you. Um, and you get these, which are called fresh linen. They're scented pillar candles um, by luminescence. So here we go. You can smell it. It's not open. I don't know what it is about candles. I just breathed in some of the dust. I didn't realize it was. <laughs> I think I swallowed some of it. I didn't realize there was dust. <laughs> smell the dust as well. My bad. <laughs> it's so small, but it burns for a very long time. Yes, indeed. Uh, it's 2.5 by 2.8 inches, or 6.35 by 7.112 centimeters. But it does smell just like fresh laundry. And even better. Um, honestly, like a soft almond and vanilla scent. Yeah, I do apologize. The dust is everywhere. It adds up over time, even on a small candle. But that you can get multitude of for your lanterns, okay? So that's an option for you. Now I want to show you the color-changing candles. Uh, these... Um, well, change colors. They're battery-powered and they're by remote, so these can't burn you. No, they don't have a smell, <laughs> but they come in a set of three. So one, two, and the largest one, three. So right now they're automatically set to glitter on purple. Like my shirt, yeah. You see one is a small, and then, then a medium and a large one. Yeah, it looks pretty and the texture is actually the texture of a candle. So, um, you do want to be wary of this because if you drop it, it will dent like a candle. And if you scrape it with your nail, it will dent like a candle, okay? I don't know how they made it like that, but it's on the top as well. Yeah. Oh, these come in different colors. You can leave them flickering, or you can just leave them on, or you can even leave them to change colors intermittently. They should have scented electric candles. That would be pretty cool. Technically, that's an aromatherapy diffuser. accessory here for a candle. This holds most votive candles or pillar ones. Mm -hmm. And it says for burning instructions and I do have to let you know but this is a Versailles small pillar maple also from India. Always place candles and candle holders on a stable protected Heat resistant surface away from anything flammable. Do not allow the candles to burn more than one hour. For candles smaller than four inches in height, extinguish when the candle has burned halfway to the bottom. Anything larger than four inches in height, do not allow candles to burn within two inches of the holder. Keep wicks trimmed to one fourth of an inch. Never leave a burning candle unattended. And always keep out of reach of kids and pets. So, I really like this one again. I don't know what it is about Indian architecture, 
but they always have a rich quality and they really take the time to customize the best looking things overall. And I'm just so impressed and I love the width of this base so that it can hold the largest candles possible. of red and greenish gold are just perfect and superior. It's one of my favorites for sure. So here's a candle um, that is uh, Egyptian cotton. These come unpackaged, but you can also order a multitude of these. Okay. And they will last about five hours burn time. Very gentle, very soft fragrance. Almost hardly noticeable. It will just smell in your home as if you have just done laundry. Yes. And it's a nice atmosphere. Um, a nice warm yellow light. love tapping on candles. It never gets old. Ever. That's why I work here after all these years. <laughs> and this is a, another taper candle holder. Much smaller. You have a much smaller hole here. But you can see on the bottom, you can see through the entire holder. Look at it. The finest glassware. Very sturdy, heavy. The dimension and shape is just perfect. And it's a healthy height away from the base. Um, so there's plenty of room for safety. Uh, I just wish this was a tad bit deeper because these can get knocked out easily, especially if they're pretty long. So I recommend you don't put a taper longer than the holder itself. Otherwise it has a chance to taper over. <laughs> yeah. It's very cute, I know. There's two of them, they come in a set of two, just so you know. Yes. Then we have this lantern, which is electric, and the candle comes with it inside, okay? So you cannot remove this electric candle from this container. little glass window. And there's a candle which cannot be moved. But it has a handle here, okay. For carrying it around. And I call this the emergency light in case the power goes out. It's very nice too. Keep it warm. This one is a unscented candle uh, made in Vietnam, so it's just a larger um, pillar, and it has no smell, okay? So this is just one of those for decoration purposes. On a 
Honestly, this is one I would just keep in a lantern, uh, which I will show you actually next, just for decor, okay? These are not meant to be burnt. Yeah, you normally don't burn unscented candles anyway. There's no point. It's just decor. But I do love the vanilla color. It's a creamy yellow. It's almost like custard, actually. in blue and in medium and smaller containers. So this is the largest one we have on display. So again, the glass doors, this door opens to expose the candle. And there's plenty of space in here. But it is not intended for burning because the metal on the top gets very hot. Um, so honestly, this would only work if you put a tea light in there, but what's the point of having this big of a lantern if you just put a tea light? So these are what's called decorative pieces. And again, you don't ever, 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 I've made that mistake before for the first time selling these. I lit a candle in there that was like literally this big. This got so hot that when I grabbed it, I created a permanent scar. So be very mindful, okay? For your safety. And this was just an addition. This does not come with it for your purchase. We do not sell these. This is just an extra piece. Some nice artificial grapes. But that's why we say never to ignite these, because this looks better with a larger candle. Okay? Just like this. Chandelle candle. This is a holiday themed apple and cinnamon scented candle. So it has a shiny golden colored lid and monochrome multicolor siding. It's like a pinky purple yellow. It's hard to tell. smell the entire house when you walk in. It will smell just as if you're baking something in the oven, like an apple pie. It's very nice, very special. I highly recommend this candle. And then we have a few more things here. Before you head off and go Mr. Beast on my store, after all. Thanks again. But this is a hundred metal cup tea lights, fragrance free. Okay. Quite heavy, but quality tea light candles. Much quality. Okay. Yes, these are the bushy version.
Do not allow the wig trimmings to accumulate in the wax pool. Place on a temperature safe surface. Container will be hot when candle is lit. So the container that this comes in gets very warm. So after you blow it out, wait a few minutes before disposing of it. Do not move the candle while burning or while wax is in liquid state. Avoid drafty areas and never burn unattended. These are unscented whites and they're 10 grams each. one that's multicolored blue and sea green this is actually a sea salt candle by Nanette Lepore so this one says basically the same things but do not burn more than two hours the fragrance is amazing my goodness This one is the final solo candle, but it comes with a set with a candle and a holder. This is not intended for burning. Uh, it will create a nasty, smoky smell because it is literally smothered with this wooden paint to give it the appearance of a wood candle. It's an actual candle, but the wood it would be like physically burning old wood and it just wouldn't smell right um, so as you can see it's just a decorative piece looks like a curtain all over it's very pretty and I love how much it matches this but this in itself can go well with Exciting piece. You will love this. Look at this container. Yes, yes, the smells are incredible. You can smell it without even opening it. Look at this. It's incredibly heavy. But this container. on the sides and the back as well. So I'm going to put it down so I don't drop it. But I will take them out one by one. They are mini size by D.W. Home. Established in 1996. And this one is cinnamon apple. Explain it to you. And I love the different colors. 
set goes and retails for $30, but it's so worth it. And it's a much better deal to buy them like this in a bundle package rather than on each their own separately, but they do offer these in larger sizes as individual sets, okay? This one is bright yellow, and it's raw honey and neroli, sweet, delicate, and soft. Then we have peach cobbler and cream, sweet, soft, and buttery. It's very gentle, you don't even notice it, if I'm honest. But all of these waxes are white. I don't quite know if that's my favorite one. Crisp apple. This one is Garden Basil and Thyme Aromatic Herbal and Lush. Okay, it's like a little bit like parsley, not gonna lie. But something sweet as well. Hard to explain. Dried Lavender and Sage. Soft, fresh, and herbal. Very, very light. It's like a Johnson & Johnson bath product. If I'm honest, it's very light. Fresh peach and nectarine, juicy, succulent, and sweet. These are so small, but overpowering and instant. I just wish they changed the wax as the same color. That's my only wish. I think they really could have went the extra mile. Lemon zest and citrus, dark, fresh, and bright. Very zesty, lemony. Holy cow. It's like we watched, walked into Rachel Ray's kitchen or something. Sugared peach fruit swirled with cinnamon and creamy vanilla wrapped in an all butter cobbler crust. The lemon zest and citrus is tart citrus peel surrounds the brilliance of fresh lemon fruit. Crisp apple and pear, ripe, juicy, and fresh picked red apples, dark green pear, and sugared gold and delicious. Is your mouth watering or what? Mine is. White magnolia and apple, pink azalea. Lily above soft amber and white woods. I just 
store.